Hello, I'm excited to share with you my new short story for children. It's called The Little Lamb, and it is based off of a parable from Luke 15. It is not in book form yet, but the Lord willing, it will be within the next couple of weeks. I hope you enjoy this video, and please feel free to share it with others. Thank you. The Little Lamb by Bethany McBride Once upon a time, there was a little lamb. He lived in green pastures with his flock. His flock had a good shepherd. The good shepherd was always there to feed and protect the sheep. The little lamb loved to run, jump, and play in the grassy fields where the good shepherd took him and the other sheep to eat. Sometimes the little lamb looked toward the far-off hills in the distance. The good shepherd had told him many times, Don't ever go over there, little lamb. There are steep hills where you may get hurt, and it's easy to get lost there. The little lamb looked again toward the hills. The grass looked so green and delicious there. So... One day, the little lamb snuck off from the rest of the flock and ran toward the far-off hills. It took him all day, and when he reached the hills, he said, Finally! He started eating the grass. Hmm, he thought, this doesn't taste near as good as the grass at home. Soon it started getting dark and cold. The little lamb was afraid. I had better get back to the flock, he said. However, he realized he didn't know how to get home. He started running fast, trying to find his way. He ran and ran and then suddenly fell down to the bottom of a big hill. He tried to stand, but he had hurt his leg and he couldn't get up. He was hopelessly lost in the far off hills and he didn't know what to do. Then he heard a noise, and when he looked up, he saw the good shepherd. He had left the flock and had come all of the way to the far-off hills to find the little lost lamb. The good shepherd knelt down and bandaged the lamb's leg. Then he tenderly picked him up, laid him on his shoulders, and carried him home. Back with his flock and the good shepherd, the little lamb was happy and safe again. He decided that it was best to stay and obey the good shepherd. A note to the reader. There is a good shepherd up in heaven who is real. His name is the Lord Jesus. He is God's only son. God the Father and God the Son are holy, meaning totally perfect. They love and care for every person in this world, but we are like the little lamb. Every person in this world has wandered away from God. We have sinned against his law. We have all done wrong. The Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. It also says, for the wages of sin is death, Romans 6.23. We are separated from God because of our sin. Yet God the Father sent Jesus, the Good Shepherd, to come to this world. He lived a perfect life and then died for our sins on the cross. He was buried and then he rose again from the dead three days later. His death paid the penalty so that we could be saved and go to heaven with him when we die. The Bible says, also in Romans 6, 23, The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord Jesus has made it possible for our sins to be forgiven. Any person who will come to him and repent of their sin, this means admitting Lord Jesus, you are right, and I am wrong. I am a sinner, and will ask the Lord Jesus to save them from their sins, will be saved. 
The Bible says in Romans 10:13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.